Hi everybody, this is Pramitha here and this is the second journal that I am sharing. Uh, so, um, welcome everybody to my channel. I do have a few new subscribers. So, welcome ladies. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video, then please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And this is actually another cracker box, which I have, um, you know... Mm, painted and then i have added crackle effects i do have a video i think whereby i show how i did this um, on some other projects so i'm just going to give you the dimensions of this uh, journal so it is actually four four inches wide and it is exactly five inches uh, in height so it's four by five um very convenient and very tiny and it has all the fluff and lace and stuff like that and i have tied this with the satin uh, fabric uh, that i've cut down <clears throat> so the front cover is um, layered with a lot of laces as you can see and i've used a polaroid uh, frame that i had and i've painted that and then i've added um, this uh, image and crackle effects just to add some little bit of interest and uh, <clears throat> it also has two beaded charms and uh, I have just layered the entire uh, front image on a piece of cheesecloth and then I've taken the threads off I'm just um, trying to give you a walkthrough of this so um, so let's begin the flip through so this has two charms as i said so these two are removable beaded charms so one, this has a metal leaf attached to it and this just is attached to a paper clip so you can take it off if you so want and um, yeah so let's begin so here we have this tiny tiny journal you can say four by five is a very uh, smallish kind of journal, but I love how the textures have added and I've added those drip uh, shades uh, while I was painting this because I wanted this to look a little bit uh, more textured and, you know, the paints to catch that texture. So, um, yeah, so this is the front page and this has... Um, you know this has this two lace strips you can say fabrics that uh, that are that are acting as hinges basically but this is just a decorative purpose it doesn't serve any other thing uh this is the front page and i have used um papers from a shabby cottage studio i i don't know if you people know about this shop but she has lovely colored sheets and also i have used a lot of papers from my own shop so if you've not yet bought or seen or checked out my shop then please do and also i'm going to post a link to gail's shop um she her shop is called shabby cottage studio and she has awesome selection of papers so here is the front page and this page this paper is from my shop so I've, what i've done is this is actually a collage sheet and i've resized it to um you know form a little bit smaller and this is uh, from one of the papers that i have used and cut down from gail's shop that is shabby cottage studio uh, again here i've done a lot of layering as you can see little bits and bobs from here and there some master boards that i have in my shop and some stamp stickers again here i have uh, used some sticker layering and the background paper is from my shop uh those are master boards so you can use them so this is actually uh what i've done to these journal cards is i've added some water splotches um so that they form that water stain kind of look i love that and i have also stamped and stenciled on the pages i have mainly stamped and this is another page from shabby cottage studio large sheets she does have a lot of selections so i'm not exactly sure i have mixed uh, i think three or four kits that i had bought 
she was having a sale, I guess, when I bought these. So I don't exactly remember. Uh, so here is the paper clip that was attached to this. Uh, this is another of the papers that uh, Shabby got at studio. And I have just cut it down um, to make a journal card. And the pocket, the paper of the pocket is from my shop. So these are the collage sheets that I have. I think I have four collage sheet sets, um, main kits. Each of them come with two sheets. So this is another page from Shabby Cottage, Cottage Studios. And mainly I have done used papers from her shop. I've added lace snippets and done some collage over here with butterflies and frames. Here also I've done the same thing and this is a journal card. Um, I just wanted to show the backs also that I've done a lot of stenciling and stamping. So this goes inside this pocket. <laughs> and you know what? These become very hard on camera, doing it on camera. I don't know if everybody feels that way, but at least I do feel that way. You know, things become so difficult. So this is another uh, stamped page that I have done. A little bit of stamping there and um, stamping. Um, so this is again a page from my shop, uh, digital kit, uh, collage sheets. And uh, this is a journal card that I've added. So that's that. And... This is another page from the kit that I've used. Um, this is the other side. And this page is also from my shop. Um, and I have also stenciled some little bits and pieces over here. Because I wanted to not leave blank pages as much. Um... This is just an image I had in my stash and I used those little tiny squirrels. They looked so nice and sweet. And here again I have, uh, you know, stenciled and stamped. And I love the water stain. So that's something I'm trying to add to my pages. Uh, some sort of layering, you can say. Even when I am doing uh, tea dyeing, I try to do that. So this this bird is also from my shop. And um, so this bird is also from my shop. And I've just layered that up. And this page is also from Shabby Cottage Studio. And I've just stamped at the back. I did some lace and fabric pieces. Lovely flower image. And some line page. And again, you can see I've stenciled on the other side uh, just so that you will feel that there is a background sort of thing. This image is from my uh, digital kits. Um, so here is a journal card. This image is also from one of the collage sheets. So I've added some lace trim, uh, you know, the sari silk boho kind of trim. And this image is from Shabby Cottage Studio. I've just stamped again little bits and pieces here and there um, again over here I've done some half pockets um, and I've done some collages here is a journal card this is from shabby cottage studio I've just added this tab this tab is from pink monarch prints and um, again in this um, over on the right hand side and this this floral image is also from my shop. This is from a collage sheet and I've just fussy cut this out. And that is from Miss Tracy Fox. Um, again, I've stamped a little bit. And um, this page is also from my shop. So as you can see, I've used mostly stuff either from Shabby Cottage Studio or from my own shop. And uh, of course, I'm going to link both the shops below. And also the listing will be list, uh, linked in the description box. So if you're interested, you can just check the, uh, that out. And here I've added some lace uh, fabric hinges just as a decorative purpose, as I said. Uh, this is also, this pocket is also made from one of the digital papers in my shop. So 
again a lot of collaging layering i don't know if i can call it collaging but i can definitely call it some sort of layering and uh, similarly you can see on the other side of the pocket so here i've added a, that leaf a charm with some beads and these are totally removable if you want and if it bothers you then you can take it off or if you just finish this journal and you want to use it somewhere else you can do that so too so again some layering and um, um again some pocket and this paper is also from my shop so i have used extensively pages from my shop as well as from shabby cottage studio and they blended so well you know they were so much cohesive um in tandem with uh, everything else so this is again a tag that i added um the pocket is also from a paper in my shop so as i said i have four main um collage kits and these are all from my shop except the labels that are from miss tracy fox and this is a sticker that i had in my stash so again some journal uh, tag with a little bit of lace uh, florally element and at the back also i have done some fussy cutting this is also from a collage sheet uh, and also this butterfly I have layered with all sorts of scraps that I had and the focal elements uh, the butterfly and the flower is from one of my collage sheets. So this is again a page um that I've used from one of my collage sheets uh, some tags uh so these collage sheets are very cohesive as i said there are four main kits and each come with two sheets and you can use them um you know along with uh, anything collage element that you want so um, i think i just skipped a page so this is the middle of the second signature and uh this is the back where again i've used papers from my shop and this is a scrap that i had i've added some lace ruffle and this uh, journal even though you know it is um okay so this bird is also from my shop and the butterfly and the background is actually one of my master boards and um, they are so you know so, so easy to layer up with um you can try give them a try and this is a journal card that i made from one of the papers um so this let me show you the journal card again at the back i've done a lot of stenciling and stamping they have a lot of interest you know you can um see that for yourself and um, on the other side of the pocket i have used again a page from my kit um my kits uh, one of my kits and i've used six stickers and the butterfly is from um artemis again the page pocket is from my the digital kits on the other side and now we come towards nearly towards the end so this is again a beautiful page from shabby cottage studio um this is again one from one of my collage sheets and um, this is a a beautiful page and i have used uh, shabby cottage studios paper collage papers to make ephemera and just look how beautiful these birds look and uh, again some simple journal cards some little bit of layering and over the pockets and here again i've done some layering so this is from artemis and okay and the last pocket this is also from my shop but this is from shappy cottage studio and i have done again some stamping some some sort of a water stain kind of effect and i love how they turned out so this is the last page and again some fabric hinges and some fine pom pom trim so i will post all the links below and uh, 
uh, if you like, this is going to be called Imagine. So by the time you see this, it's going to be listed in my shop. And I used, uh, I have used uh, the, you know, the crackle accents, crackle accent here. Yeah. So crackle accent to add cracks to the front image. And it has turned out pretty good. And um, yeah, so thank you everybody for being here. Bye.